75 for the second, 74 for the third, and then suddenly a 65. Uh, but uh, at the moment, well, they'll be pushed to break 28 minutes. But it is speeding up. Antibo leads for Italy. Vaino Finland in second place. Kova Italy third. Stefano May four. Canario in uh, fifth place. Steve Bins of uh, Britain goes up into sixth. And seventh place, Uvitsi of Czechoslovakia. And Kunza of East Germany showing at the same time in eighth place. 65 again for that lap. So the running has really started. You mentioned Kunza, the blonde East German, right in the middle of the field there, just getting total along nicely. I think he's uh, a very, very good athlete. And I think his placing in the World Championships, he was so close to Alberto Kova in Helsinki that uh, Kova knows that he's gonna, if he's going to beat him tonight, he's going to have a tremendous race on his hands because he's the fastest man in the field this year. And uh, he's got a tremendous kick coming down the finishing straight in Helsinki that time. I'll never forget it. What a tremendous race it was. But uh, I think Alberto knows enough about finishing fast in 10,000 meter races to be very, very wary of people like Jörg Kunze of East Germany. Still, it'd be a brave man who'd bet against, Kunze, uh, bet against uh, Kova in a sprint finish. I suppose one day it'll happen. But he's won all his major titles that way. Except, I think, from memory, Brendan, at the Olympic Games, he got away a bit earlier. Well, in the Olympic Games, he followed um, Marty Vainio. And I, I was talking to him after that race, he said there was a four or five times in the Olympic Games where he felt as though Vainio was going get, to get rid of him, drop him off the pace, which he's trying to do already. He's, he's stretching now because they run 65, 65, and then a 68. And then Vainio wasn't happy with the 68, so he went past and he started pushing the pace along. Steve Bin's moving up there nicely in third place, or fourth place, and uh, Steve's determined not to lead like he did in Edinburgh tonight. He's, he's determined just to hang in there, get a ride, and realize that the second 5,000 meters is really going to hurt. They're going to be pushing, and they're going to be hurting each other. And there are enough men in this race to do damage to, to one another. And uh, this is the kind of race where, uh, apart from the physical talent and the, the physical preparation, it's all about who's mentally prepared the best. And when you look at him in third place, just coming right a couple of weeks ago with his 5,000 meter win in Zurich, um, Alberto Kova is gonna take some beating. Last lap, si si uh, last lap was 66 seconds. Well, and you're leading, and the three Italians follow on Thibaut, Kova, Stefano May. Fifth place, Steve Bin. Sixth is Hartman, seventh is Kunza. Eighth, Canario. Then one of the uh, Castro twins. Difficult to separate the pair of them, but that's uh, Dionisio. Also from Portugal, following Canario through. Canario, a very, very good athlete. Can't be taken lightly. He's 26. He was ninth in the Olympic Games, 5,000 metres. Back there in about 7th, 8th place. So again, just checking back through the order. Vaidio leads. Is quite happy to do the work, obviously, although I remember when he won the title, he came from a long way back in 1978. Antibo second, Kova third, Mai fourth, Steve Bins in fifth place, Kunza six, Castro seven, Canario eight, Hartman nine, tenth is Arpon, and the other Castro twin in eleventh place. Interesting that uh, of the top ten in uh, Europe for this season, only three men are missing, our own John Sully, of course, Mamidi, who's been dropped for inconsistency, the world record holder and the second uh, East German Heiner who's not here through injury and that means that East Germany in Kunze and Heiner have two men in the top three as far as the 1986 European list is concerned and that's an upward surge by the East Germans because uh, that's not an area uh, where they've been particularly strong although Brendan Foster is saying that uh, in Hans-Jörg Kunze uh, the blonde 26 year old uh, there is quite an athlete there. Bronze, of course, in the World Championships at 10,000 metres, but a former European record holder at 5,000 metres, and that's why there he is in the middle. That's why he's going to be a threat to uh, even Kova if it comes to a sprint finish. He's got uh, good form at a long range, 1,500 metres, 3,000, 5,000, and Kova never looks as though he's got great sprinting ability. He really is quite a scuttlebutt, but uh, he does r run remarkably well over the last 400 metres. But if there's a challenger and he's fit, it may well be Hans-Jörg Kunze of the German Democratic Republic. 
I noticed Antibo is quite ha happy to take the pace along because he knows that uh, Stefano May and Alberto Cova are stronger finishers than him. And if he's going to do anything about it, I think he would like to stretch them so that they know they've run a hard race before they actually get to the last lap. Um, and I think it's an interesting combination there. Antibo and, and Vainio sharing the pacemaking, but they're, uh, they're moving along now and the real serious contenders are starting to take up their positions because there's no point in giving them a 20 or a 30 yard lead sitting at the back of the group. Uh, news of the other two Britons, Steve Harris and uh, Carl Thackeray. Uh, Steve Harris has just begun a forward move. He's up to about 12th place, having been back in 15th, 16th. And Carl Thackeray at the moment, somewhere about 16th. Antibo leading, Bayanu second, Cova third, Mai four, Bins five, Kunza six, Castro seven, Hartman eight, Canario nine. Arpon 10, the other Castro 2011, John Tracy 12, Steve Harris is 13, and Thackeray back in 15th place. Steve Harris is an interesting character, coming back to something like form. This is a, a return from injury and a return to confidence. Did most of his running with the Shaftesbury Club, he's now with the Harringay Club. He's only 24, he's had an interesting uh, career, the 3A's 10 kilometer road race champion. He's won the Perugia. Uh, cross-country race uh, several times but only 14th in the 3A's 10,000 meters championship he had a good season a couple of years ago he's run 27 59 33 this season but really uh, everyone thought there he is uh, uh, the, just uh, leading Carl Thackeray there everyone thought that he was going to be the big name of the future over 10th and then he went backwards through injury and he's just finding his way back and Carl Thackeray is the newcomer to the team one of the last to be chosen here and this is going to be uh, a rich and rewarding experience from them but they're not either of them expected to do too much but i know that steve here he is running wide here is looking to return to something like the form he had of two years ago and as the pace slows there the field bunches up together again and i noticed john tracy making a run through from the back i think if john was to do anything in this race it would it would serve his own purpose to get out in front and push push them along because he's run a good 5,000 meters in Zurich where he ran 13.22. And I think John, if he was in running the marathon, would be a great race between him and Steve Jones. I really think he should run the marathon because a European title would be a great one to have under his belt. And after his tr tremendous performance in Los Angeles against Carlos Lopez, I think he could have done very, very well in the marathon here. It's a very, very strange pace, this, in fact. They said open with a 70-second lap, but then 75-74, then speeded up to a 65. They'd lost quite a lot of time on those first three laps. And then they went 65, 68, 66, 65. And then the last three laps, 68, 67, 70. So it's no wonder Vainio has taken it on again. Uh, the pace is very uneven, it's very unsettling, and it's not breaking the field up. And they're often happier when the pace goes constantly fast rather than chops and changes. Because they're, when they're in full flow, all they've got to concentrate on doing is running and running hard. And they find that easier than having to run a 70-second lap and then a 65-second lap because that upsets the, the mental concentration. And physically, it's no less tiring to run two 68-second laps than to run 65 and then 